right, welcome to Tennis Sucks, uh, almost to, or soon to be known back of the rack. Uh, your podcast with Travis Wright and Maya, Graham D'Amico and me, Luke. And uh, we're going to start off today. Travis, you brought something, but Graham's reluctant. What have you got? Yeah, so uh, Graham is immersed in Asian culture, <laughs> particularly with boba. Right, That's probably the end of it. But I brought him this cupping device that is a digital cupping device. He says he's against it because of the markings that it leaves on the body that it potentially hurts, which it doesn't. <laughs> Unless it's like a really thin piece of skin, then it does. So you just push this little power button right here. And the engine motor thing. What's, What's the on? lowest setting you can do? I'll, I'll go to the lowest setting for you. Okay. It was on three. 12 is the highest. And you oh went to one. God. It did one sound so low. intense at 12. <laughs> it's not. Okay. Go with it. I'll do the lowest setting right Where? here. Okay. Go with it. <laughs> Hold on. What does it feel like? Should I be loose or tight? Just relax, man. <laughs> what, is, what does it feel like? Does it. Consumption. I don't know. All right, all right, you're pumping it up. No, no. All right, take okay. it out, take it no, off. That's it, that's it, that's it. That's Why does it say 20? Because that's how many minutes left. No, 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 take it off. Okay, okay. 20 <laughs> minutes? 30 seconds, you got 30 seconds. It's like an It's eye. good, take it off. I, I understand okay, okay, the okay, feeling. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and that's it. And now he's got the mark. <laughs> no, 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 no. But that's how I'm bruising. You would have left that on for 20 minutes? Probably five. I go five and I move around spots. Wow. I got two of them and I just all my Do you body. feel any different? <laughs> <laughs> that would be something, wouldn't it? Oh my, gosh. oh my god. You gotta get I'm one a, of these I'm things. A <laughs> so you're not sold, I guess. You're not gonna be buying a cup of machine. Zane, Zane went soon. from not playing to fucking best right side player of the day. There you go. <laughs> the evidence speaks for itself, Graham. Correct. That's funny. Uh, <laughs> well, all right, then moving on. Yeah. Uh, so talk, us, talk to us about pop culture, Travis. I think you yeah, want to so educate I, I us, right? I, I like to touch on these things because admittedly, I am such a moron when it comes to these things. And I almost take pride that I know nothing. But, you know, we came in here last time with the... Uh, What's up, brother? Have you seen him since? Team, now that you... Yes. Well, now because he did like the NFL draft. I saw that. He's everywhere. He's everywhere. Sketch. Sketch. Is his name, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so are you aware of the current beef between Drake and Kendrick Lamar? No, but I saw your note. I should have went and looked it up no, and said yes. <laughs> that's not fair. Are you familiar with this? No. No, okay, that makes you yeah. feel better. It's probably nothing. I, it's I'm, phenomenal. But if you don't know, which people like us don't, then you don't know. So they're basically in a feud and they're, they keep going diss tracks back and forth. Oh. And it's the hottest thing on the internet right now. Everyone's discussing, uh, you know, like one of them, Kendrick Lamar basically says you have illegitimate tr children, you don't pay attention to them, blah, 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 blah. So it's getting rather oh, personal. Damn. I'm more intriguing. of a Lamar fan myself. Are you? Yeah, than Drake. I'm yeah, I think so. I, I don't even know. Oh. But I, I did know. like the Drake song that he put out was called Family Matters. Very good. Okay. Very good. I also heard that Taylor Swift has 14 of the top 100 Billboard songs right now. I don't I'm know sure how that's, that's possible. 14? Yeah. That's that makes wild. Sense. <laughs> she had a billion dollar tour. I mean, she's crushing it. Yeah, you saw that she like broke the pickleball world by just holding a paddle. Yeah. Apparently she plays now. I don't know if she plays or whatever. Of course she does. It's pickleball. This also has heating, Graham, if you're... <laughs> I can do this to make for sure you. I don't want to know where that thing's been, honestly. <laughs> Lots of spots. Especially inner groin right here. I, I told you, I sanitized it on the way. That did reassure us. I got a little, yeah. I got a little wet wipe. I went deep clean. <laughs> Damn. All right. Well, what about this? I, I, I can, I'm going to take your Drake uh, and raise you. Do you know, do you know the YouTube um, streamer Tifu? I have no fucking clue who Tifu is. I've heard his name simply because Rachel, who's a closet Twitch streamer, also Rohrbacher. Yep. Handle was what? King Fizz or something like that's the name? It was uh, Rafe. 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 Something like that. Yeah. yeah. Like some white dude who's got like purple dreads or something. <laughs> I forget. Anyway. <laughs> She was excited to play with Tifu. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. know what it is. It's, he had, um, he had uh, regrets. No regrets. No regrets. Right, right. Yeah, I forget his name. Who's the guy that has a tattoo that says no regrets? I forget. Yeah, Dang see, it. we suck at this. Yeah, um, we're so bad. But Rachel would know. And she would. she was telling me that she Riff was super Rach, excited sorry. to play. The guy's name is Riff Raff, but her handle is Riff Rach. Right. Right. Oh, nice. <laughs> and she's a closet gamer. Games nonstop. Apex Legends is how game I don't of even know the game. You know no, no, no I know no games I know at that all. One. You play I used it. to play. I told her we'd play together. And she, she, Do you she's think down. she's good? I think she's pretty good. I'm sure she's yeah, good. Yeah, she plays a lot. I think that that's where she gets her 
we last week we talked about her being a good shit talker. She played That's Call of where Duty she gets it and from. like Apex Legends, and she's like getting yelled at by like twelve year old boys. She's a dude. That's what she's literally like a dude. Yeah. She shit talks on video games. That's where she practices. Yep. Yeah. So she's she such a nerd. nerd. I knew she was a nerd. Such a nerd. Yeah. And they're good at it too. She said like during quarantine, her boyfriend and her like communicated playing Fortnite for four or five hours a day. That was like their stay together task. Let's play Fortnite. It's amazing. <laughs> amazing. Yeah. Well, she, uh, she, uh, she was a bit afraid to come out of the closet with this. She didn't want to, didn't want people to know, but I mean, it's out there it's now. Out. She played with Tifu, uh, an exhibition match and, uh, it was great. It was a lot of fun. Um, is Tifu any good? He actually, he was probably like, I think he's like a four two five or something. That's pretty yeah. damn good. For like a guy that he lives local. Yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah. He's Tampa based. That's awesome. Did man. she yeah. then go and play a video game with him? No, I don't think so. I t that's what they should. I told her she should start up a Twitch account and start streaming again. She should. She was legitimately giddy telling me about it. Like, oh my god, playing with fucking Tifu. <laughs> <laughs> what a nerd! What a nerd! <laughs> oh, what a we nerd! We love you, though, Rachel. We do. You're unique. So funny. All right. I also can't help but notice that you've got this hat on, Travis. Um, oh, what? This hat. Yeah. What is it? It's my coaching hat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We okay. Talk us through it. <laughs> great, I'm a great coach. I mean, first, I'm just a great coach. <laughs> we got a couple young folks here: Stephen Madonia, Grayson Golden, who are former tennis players, now aspiring pickleball players, and they're talented. You know, they're really athletic and very good in singles. Madonia beat, I think, Yates a couple times. Yates Johnson badly. Uh, Grayson made finals of an APP. I'm gonna say Madonia has like a top three backhand. His backhand is filthy. Yeah, but they are so dumb. Their pickleball IQ is so flawed, and so they acknowledge that and they wanted some help. And so they asked me if I would assist them in kind of like putting some plays together, getting them a sequence of how to get to the line because their error count is just so high. And to their credit, they were super receptive and I think made a lot of progress today. So wow. hopefully we get, you know, more good players in the area. We obviously have a lot of ex tennis players. There are two of them that are pursuing this and I'd, I'd love to help them. That's cool. So uh, what is the deal with the pickleball IQ thing coming from tennis? Why are so many tennis players, what, what do they struggle with the most? Is it the dinking stuff? Is it just, they want to drive everything? Like what's Yeah. So that's a, that's a good one. It's the one thing is, is I think there's like a, a stronger precedent on errors in pickle. It's like a guy can hit a big serve and you miss and you can say, oh, the guy had a big serve. In pickle, almost every error is unforced. Almost every one. So you have to kind of like really acknowledge I shouldn't be missing. I shouldn't be missing. For tennis players, uh, Donald Young said this. It's very, very odd to relinquish control. Like someone hits the ball fast and you hit it slow back with a reset. You would never do that in tennis, ever. Mm. You know, you would try to maintain control somehow. You hit it firm back. You would never hit slow. So I, I definitely think there's some... Uh, you know, real nuance that, that just takes time. Right. Interesting. I also needed to bring up the fact that obviously we're migrating away from the, the name tennis sucks, but now I have footage of both of you playing tennis <laughs> within the last week. So yeah, is this the secret us. reason why we're changing the name that you actually both like tennis now? <laughs> no, playing it reminds me or lets me know that it does suck. Oh yeah. This is not true. You walked by the fence the other day and you're like, I really want to play tennis. You said it, you said it strongly and truthfully. So don't come on here and start doing this <laughs> charade. You like it. It really messes up my pickleball game. That's for sure. Temporarily. Yeah. For a game or two. Half a game. Half a game. <laughs> but it's good exercise. I'll give it that. It is, feels like it makes you stronger. For sure. And I'm really bad at it. So there's like a nice high learning curve. Mm. I like feel like I'm going to get a lot better real fast. Whereas pickleball. There's yeah. not much more room for me there. Graham right. is actually I, I really fucking out. good at it. For playing 12 <laughs> times, no joke, incredible hand. We don't out. know the exact amount. Okay, it's well, between 12 and 20. Just, okay, 12 and 20. The fact that you can have like a 40 ball rally connect, and obviously you watch a lot of balls, so there's an advantage there. But for how much you've played, it's, it's pretty impressive. All right. Yeah, it's been a long time since I played. It's got to be... Yeah. Five to ten years. Wow. No, we played last year a couple times. Was that playing? Yeah. Oh, they played that guy. No. You're right. Yeah, you played that dude too. And I remember beat that, him. You and I hit the one day so much that your yeah, forearm that was, was sore for weeks. I remember beating that guy. He hasn't come back to the tennis court since. Not one time. 
<laughs> so you're going to take lessons now? You're going to keep going? Yeah, yeah, once a week. And what's the goal? Just to cross train or is it... Yeah, uh, just see if I can get my footwork better for... Like get my ground strokes and my footwork better for pickleball. Right, because you don't, you don't move too fast in pickleball. But no. you can't not do that in tennis. Like you have to move fast in tennis, you have right? To move. Yeah, yeah. There's, so, there's a lot more movement. Yeah. And I'd like to beat a lot of these people who are tennis players. I think that would give me some satisfaction too. Like yeah. these guys are like, oh, I was a former tennis player. I want to get out there and like I'd beat be them like, in tennis. Oh yeah, prove it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. I think it's smart. I think you'll improve a lot by doing it. I think it's really I also smart. have hit a tennis racket a couple of times recently. Oh yeah? Uh, once I saw that you were taking lessons, I refused to let you get better oh, than me. <laughs> you, I mean, oh, not, wow. no joking, the tennis courts have been a little more full lately. Yeah. I feel like people don't want me to get ahead of them in it. <laughs> yeah, oh, absolutely. I literally have asked my you buddy Jason to help Great. me. I started a trend for tennis. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, so watch out, Graham. <laughs> All right, yeah. can't wait yeah. to see that. I, yep. I ordered string, I got rackets getting strong. I don't know what the fuck's going yeah. <laughs> Whole life is imploding oh, wow. again. So today you were, you were in, um, you were at the old Florida Pickleball Pro League today, Graham. Yeah, Punta Gorda Pickleplex. Tell us, what is the old Florida Pickleball Pro League? It's very similar to, if you, you know the one that Jigsaw does out in Arizona? Yeah, the, um, got a, what is it that? It has like the Scorpions. Yeah, it's like yeah. a bunch of, basically, all Arizona, Arizona League. Or something all Arizona League. Yeah. yeah, they've got them all over the country. So I know they have one, I think, in like Dayton, Ohio you know, Central Ohio Pickleball League, but it's people that, it just gives opportunity to pros who can't quite, you know, can't make it on APP, can't afford to travel the country for PPA. Yeah. And it's for Florida pros only, yep. kind of like up and comers, yep. get to play like a major league, you know, pickleball format. And they've created eight teams and it was very high level play. It was fun to watch. I, you know, doing a little bit of sponsorship down there and seeing yeah. some people play and a lot of I, locals is fun. You're a coach of one of the teams? I'm a co-coach, really. Carlos is the coach. Yeah. I'm more of just a guy. I did get a call for our team today. A uh, guy broke the plane without touching the ball. And I was right in the ref's ear like, hey, broke the plane, broke the plane. And she stopped the point immediately. Whoa. And the guy freaked out, but... Hey, rules are rules. Peanut gallery yeah. sitting there just fucking yeah, yeah. chiming the in. The whole randomly. team got so angry. I'm sure they did. <laughs> That's the amazing. Fuck is this guy talking? <laughs> <laughs> did he just, what was he trying to go for an Ernie? He's trying to Ernie. I he didn't, wi he I whiffed the rule. You're right. He whiffed the Ernie. His half his body came over the line. And then the point kept going on. And she stopped it because I was like, hey, that's he can't break the plane. That's right. a US, that's a USAP rule. Wow. And she stopped the point and amazing. he was not happy Look about at it. You. Good job. Proud of you. We still lost. We didn't, we didn't, <laughs> the icebergs need some work. They we were got screwed. We got cold. Uh, we got called today more like ice water oh, than icebergs. No. <laughs> so we, we, oh, man. We, we need some work. All right. <laughs> hey, we like an underdog situation. Yeah, that's, we're used to it. <laughs> well, you better get good because I ordered a jersey and I need you guys to start being good if I'm going to wear this jersey. The jerseys are sweet. You're going to like your jersey. <laughs> All right. But if people want to watch it, then they're, they, they're streaming on All Florida Pickleball's YouTube That's channel. Yeah. So go subscribe and you can watch it. All right, so here's some out of left field questions that I've got here. Awesome. Uh, what rule changes would you make at a pro level? Is this, talk, now is this question, what would you change just for the pros? Or yes. like, yeah. For me, it's just for the pros. All right, so then what is your answer? I have one primary one. I think that one of the reasons it doesn't appeal to the masses on some level is that it's very stationary, right? So you have sometimes people almost not moving and playing, particularly on the right side. And there's not a lot of like wow moments of the sheer athleticism. These guys are so dynamic. They're so athletic. So my thought process is you move the posts out six inches on both sides. So one, you're rewarded for a good angle, but let's just say it's, you know, Ben and Colin. I hit that angle and now I can get Colin to have to move probably two to three more feet without giving up the ATP. Mm. Now Ben has to shift and you ha suddenly have like this super athletic dynamic point going on where again, you're rewarded for an angle, not penalized. I think it's awesome for rec players to play like bunt right in front of you, but I think it would be cool to showcase the athleticism and, and make it uh, a more lateral game. Mm. What do you think, Graham? You like that idea? Yeah, we've talked about it before. I want to say Zane is the first yeah, one. It's, I, it's not my idea. Zane's the first Absolutely. one I heard talk about it, but I'd like to make the court smaller and the net shorter <laughs> so that I can get more Ernie's and Bert's <laughs> and, move, and, and move less. Thought process <laughs> no, here. I, no, I think that's a good rule. I like that. I'd like yeah. to see, they should do it just for fun once. Right. I mean, it can't be too well, tough. That's what Zane said that was so cool. He was like, you know, I'm, I'm just a big fan of trying things and you can always go back. I don't see any reason to not do this, you know, just for one event and see how it goes. Yeah. yeah. I like it. I like the idea. 
I also like Zane's idea of the pros having a, a, a less, um, a, a weaker paddle is the what I'm trying to say. A yes. weaker paddle. Spin oriented. Uh, yeah, and so that it creates longer points and more interesting dynamic play. Um, what do you think about that? It's like he referenced it to baseball, the, the way that the baseball bats are kind of deadened for pro baseball players. They went to yes. wood instead of metal. Yeah. I, I think it's a must. You know, I think that people love extended hand battles. If the As the pal, paddles are getting so powerful, that'll go away. And I just think it, it doesn't lend itself to like these really crafty, fun points, which is what we all want to see. If you can spin the ball, it, it makes more of that. But if it's just sheer force, uh, it, it takes that away. I saw one of the influencer post actually an MLP match from our first season back in Dreamland where you were playing. Yeah. You saw it? No. Bang at Pickleball did it. And it's you playing, I think, against Zane. And it was like, bring these days back. And it was crazy how much slower the game was. Really? Even from those days. It was like, I'm sure. It was all like, all resets, yeah. all dinking. Like the speed ups weren't yeah. like all that threatening. The points were long. The crowd was into it. It was wow. funny that someone just posted that. Like, let's go those back. To, like, let's go back to these days. Yeah. Well, I even posted a thing today on my, on my social, like, would it be better with wood? And I honestly think like the game would be better if we had to play with wood. Yeah. It's just getting stupid, man. Yeah. It is really weird. Yeah. Not many sports like have, I've been thinking about this and trying to find a sport where the, the actual instrument is so, uh, affects the play so much that it becomes regulated to the point that it has yeah, a I don't, I don't think there is one. Because we were talking about this with tennis. Like tennis, you adjust the strings, but the composite that you put in the frame, it, it, not that it doesn't matter, but whether it's titanium or graphite, the response is pretty comparable. Like you have a stiffness rating, how much the racket flexes, and that's it. Mm. The string changes it more than anything. Wow. Uh, but but almost every manufacturer has the exact same racket, you know, more or less. They wow. all play pretty similar. Uh, you know, this is like battle to paddle. It's crazy. The other rule change that I would like is I think that which MLP gives us the closest, and this is a Steve Kuhn one, 12 tournaments a year do random partners. So you don't always have the same exact teams. And I think that like Ben playing with Anna Bright was a good example. They didn't seem to gel well in the final. Uh, if you have, you know, Ben playing with Thomas Wilson one week and then having him play with Riley the next week and then me the third week, then you see like who manages personalities, who can play the right side and the left side. How do these, you know, uh, styles match and mix. And then I think you legitimately get to see who the best player overall is. I do, mm. I do not like the specialization that a guy can be good at two skills and be considered a great player. Right. That bothers me. Yeah. That would be interesting. I'd like to hear the fans what rules they'd like to change. Of course. Yeah. I also think that rally scoring probably would be better in the long run for the sport than traditional scoring. Agreed. Um, yeah, I don't certainly. know why we haven't gone there, but... I thought it was. Well, like, I, I, I did too. I kept there was some about momentum going a little to. bit, and then it, I think it died down. Yeah, I think... I, I, f I think somebody killed it. Some of the top pros that didn't like, you yeah, know, that has to be there's those pros that are just big influencers. If they say no, then usually yeah. it doesn't happen. They just have so much weight. Do yeah. we want to drop some names on who that is? The same old obvious. people. It's the same Ben Johns and Anna Lee Waters. And if they don't like the change, it's unlikely to have. It's tough to get it done. Yeah. Damn. All right. Well, let's take a look at some of these Red Rock results then. Um, I'm going to read these, these ones out. Uh, we've got Tina and Leia. Yeah, won it. Congratulations to them. Uh, I don't know, it was a weird week. I think Dizone and Wright were out, right? Uh, Megan has mono. Megan Dizone has mono. Oh, okay, shit. I didn't know that. Yeah, so they pulled out. Um, I know the Kawamotos were not there. And Leia and Tina took full advantage of the, the draw that they were in. I think the and Anna great. Bright and uh, Callie Smith partnership, like we had talked about last week, didn't do that great. Well, I mean, they made the final, but they almost lost in the semi to Tyra Black and Elise Jones. Uh, I think they were down 7-1 game three, and, you know, Anna being Anna just fights and wills her way to victories. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it certainly didn't look like they were, you know, cer they certainly weren't Rachel and Anna, you know. Yeah. Then we had a Johnson and Frazier win, right? Another one. I mean, you got to talk about Tardio and Diescu there, primarily semis going pickle in the third game against the Johns. I think they lost the first game like 11-1 or 11-2. It looked terrible. And then fucking Gabe, man. Gabe was so fast. Like, I think it was the fastest hands I've ever seen. Um, I'm trying to think of how many times I saw Ben speed up at him line, and Gabe was way ahead of it. Like, no, no, no. You can't come here. Wow. And, and so they, they won the third game 11-0, and it looked like they were doing everything they could to stay away from Gabe. 
I would say that Gabe is probably the most creative offensive right side player that I've ever seen. He just has so many options and so much ability. Um, and it's obviously the second time that they've beaten him. It's, it's thrown him for a loop. They're doing all the hard work for Johnson and Frazier. They True. keep knocking out the John so that for whatever reason, thing. I think Dylan and, and JW have something over Gabe and they just sure. seem to, they, they love that matchup. Yeah, of course. I mean, they see him all the time too. So like the inside, inside in, you know, flip that Gabe does, JW, he probably yeah. reads it. Yeah. He's like, I know it's coming. But there were some great hands battles in that match too. For sure. And it was close. I think game two was 14-12 or something and very close. You know, it could be a small margin, but uh, certainly, look, again, you go back to matchups. Matchups matter. They matter a ton. And Tardio and, and um, Diaskew, kind of this relentless, forceful style of pickleball that they play disrupts the Johns brothers more than the way Dylan and JW play, which is cal calculated and slow right. and dinking and... So, like, that, so the Johns are better at that. Their method is just like, let's just go fast and hard and like just keep the pressure, pressure on. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Yeah, yeah. The and they've got faster hands. And they're capable of like slowing it down. They're very good dinkers. It's not like they can't, but they also have the ability to just be like, all right, we're not winning the dink battle. Let's go. Yeah. Damn. And I think Gabe more than anyone. Jesus, he's got so many options. Do you think that there's a disadvantage for Gabe to play so regularly with with people, with other pros, and in, in that they become so able to read his game? Like, is it better in some ways to play with people that aren't, you aren't going to face in PPA matches? No. Because no, look, look at his evolution. Like, he's improved so much in the past 12 months being able to play with JW. He wouldn't have those there. hands if he wasn't right. playing with them all right. the time. So right. it's getting him there, but yeah. it's also hurting him in that, that specific match. But he match. might, you know, that might change. It could change. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, Mary Brasher, she won singles. Yeah. Uh, Leia seemed to have like a, a heavy sugar crash in game three. I don't know if you saw that, but she looked like she was really struggling. Kind of almost scary. Um, I thought a doctor said she shouldn't be playing singles and she's doing it again. Yeah, they, they had the medic close to the court watching her. Wow. Uh, it, didn't, it didn't look good. Wow. But she fought it out, did the best she could. Credit to Mary. Mary came with some great shots down the stretch in game three. But I, I felt yeah. for Leia watching. It was like, dude, yeah. you shouldn't be doing this. You shouldn't be playing. Yeah. Damn. And what do we got? Stacks is stacking wins. Yeah, Stacks Rude. Uh, that was a great final, I thought. He and Jack in the final. Jack is using a new Selkirk, like a 14 millimeter Lux, basically, is what it looks like. And it was crushing the forehand. It's, it's just insane what he does with the ball. Um, and Stacks Rude's just steady Eddie, man. Like they, they were at 7 7 game three, and Jack missed back to back serves, which I don't think he's probably ever done. So that was a big momentum shifter. Wow. Um, but great points, both super athletic, move really well. I'm, I'm really impressed with Jack's evolution. I think he's going to keep getting better and better and better and better and better. Um, and yeah, I was, you know, speaking of stacks, I was surprised he and Georgia, they lost to Mari Humberg and Augie Go. I want to say first or second round. Didn't look very good. I watched the match. It wasn't a high quality match. So it's, it's interesting. You know, like there's, there's just, matchups that work two great players on the same side but it maybe just it just doesn't work mm. wild he and pablo are done we have to reference right, that that right, was the last event right. for them uh they beat jack and schick in three and then they looked horrible against diescu and tardio it was it was very clear that they were at the end of the road any other people you want to shout out red rock results we gotta say mixed really quick ben and marietta right one again ben's insane and mixed uh they beat Ignatovich and Bright in the final, I think four games. Good match. You know, it, it was what you expected. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Ben, ben is still really fucking good. So <laughs> James is back. He was playing yeah, pretty well. Yeah, he played men's dubs with um, Johnny Goldberg, which was oh, odd, obviously. Right. Johnny Goldberg. But, you know, they probably had a fucking blast. <laughs> and I'm sure it loosened James up to just kind of play and feel free. And yeah, he looked good in the mix. There were some matches where his serve first strike combo were like unbeatable it was so fast and how about shout out real quick to frantova man our fucking fourth rounder made semis a mixed yep oh really yeah she and ask you yep they made the semi and i think tammy made semis of women's doubles like that's not a bad <sighs> yeah it's looking good yeah, yeah. looking they good. Got good partners too I, you feeling good about that graham oh i love our team yeah i just looked over the teams again tonight before this pod and thought to myself man we got a good team yeah 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 man. all right well let's talk about it let's go for some predictions we're, we're recording this on saturday right now uh we'll be on the road on wednesday you got a we have a an exhibition match on wednesday night 
the Smash versus the Bouncers. Yeah, kind of a practice for you guys, right? That's a good team. That's really They're a cool. top three team. Yeah, it's really exciting. Playing them at fun. Pickle and Social, seven o'clock, seven to nine. Yeah, on Wednesday. That's good. So, so in this kind of like exhibition match, are you just trying to like get a, get get into the feel of the MLP style? format again or are you going to be like sizing the team up like what's the deal well we're not playing the bouncers oh, in not. atlanta okay. so it makes even better oh, and okay. in our opinion they're one of the better teams yeah, so it's are. a perfect team to kind of practice the day before with and hopefully work out some kinks yeah. with partnerships and you know strategy i'm looking at like who's playing with who and would you like decide on switching that up and stuff yeah like exactly. that? Well, we're going to practice actually on monday here and i think we'll get a better sense of that like am i going to play with martina am i going to play with tammy but certainly when we play against the bouncers uh even though it's just an exhibition, there will still be some pressure because you're playing in front of people. And it's good to get into that format and that feel. Uh, you know, I'm excited about it. I think it's great for yeah. us. Like, couldn't be a better uh, preparation. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you've spoken about that before, Travis, when Sorry. you, like, just jump right into a tournament, right? You know, you get off the plane, you're, like, right Super in tough, it. And, yeah. and you don't, like, you don't get some time to do it. So this, yeah, it seems to be the perfect thing. Yeah, you get a little thing. pressure. You're going to get the feel right away. You're going to like, walk in the next day playing a normal match and be like, oh, I've done this. Yeah. And we're streaming it on the dink, too. Yep. So, so you're yeah. to watch it. If you guys want to watch Wednesday. our warm-up exhibition match, Wednesday, Wednesday 7, 7, 7 o'clock. Check go. it out. All right. So then your first match on Thursday is against the Breakers. That's 4 p.m. Grandstand Court. How do you feel about the breakers? You know that team offhand? I'm so bad about yeah, it. Who's, who's, who's the men's squad? I don't know. Uh, oh, me, no, no, I do know. It's up. Patrick Kaka and Colin Schick. Yep. And then Correct. Vivian Glosman and Rachel Recker. Wow, that's impressive. Thank you. That is the team. He's yes, right. You don't have to look it up. <laughs> okay. Yep, I got it. Uh, Kaka was injured, so if he's fine, they're a very forceful team. Could certainly be dangerous. I think Colin playing on the left is far, far better than he is on the right. Uh, so he plays on the right with Sock. He, he doesn't look comfortable there to me, but he's got a great two-handed backhand, so he can be dangerous. He's, he's fast. He's athletic. Uh, Kaka hits the shit out of the ball, so, you know, he might be hot. But, you know, I like our chances certainly there in men's. And then uh, Glosman and Retger, I would favor Tammy and Frantova just because I think they're a little more steady, a little more solid. Both of their girls play more aggressive but make more errors. Uh, so, yeah, I, I, I favor us... You know, but you never know. You That's never know. MLP. Of course. Of course. Look, I mean, these are all great players. Like everybody's practicing all the time. Everyone's fucking good. The margin is small. Yeah. yeah. But if you if you were a gambling man, yeah, you take us. And what do you think? Same same kind of feelings as Travis Ogram? Yeah, I feel good about that match. But I've said this in the past, and then we end up losing it. So I don't want to say it. I, <laughs> I hope we come out. You know playing as hard as we can, thinking we're underdogs and beating the crap out of them. You know what I think we did really well this time though, Graham, compared to others is I think our picks based purely on team rapport is really, really good. That was our number one criteria. Where previously we just kind of picked yeah. players and thought like maybe this guy would be good, maybe that girl. This time like I have a great relationship with Pat. Tammy seems fucking awesome. I barely know Martina, but from what I do Tammy know, she loves seems, her. Tammy loves her and she seems to be competing really well. She seems positive. Uh, you know, good tennis player. She hits the shit out of the ball, so there's a high upside. Like, we have a really good dynamic for players to root for each other. Right. Yeah, I, I love that I have Pat on there. I love fucking Pat. He's cool as shit. That makes a lot of sense. I mean, the, the biggest thing about having a large team is that they all have to want each other to do well. And if everyone likes each other, then they're going to hype each other up. Yeah, it makes a huge difference for sure. Yeah, it was definitely our number one, like, criteria in picking the team was, is there good chem? We took people off the board that were probably amazing picks just because we knew the chemistry wouldn't be right. Right. And we wow. passed on maybe, you know, quote unquote, better players for better chemistry. Yeah. You, are there any teams you can think of that we, you, you think that they've done that the opposite way? Like, there are teams that have bad chemistry? Yes. It, sure. Tons. <laughs> but, I mean, I, I, I can't name them offhand, but there's definitely teams where I looked at I was like, I don't think these people have ever said a word to each other. I mean, they put Loong and Tyson together on right. a premier team. Well, yeah, so I don't think they were thinking about chemistry in that time. moment. No, <laughs> no. Um, so second match Saturday, 10.30 a.m. against the Aces, the Brooklyn Aces. Um, that one isn't going to get streamed on the regular um, MLP, MLP channel, but we're trying to stream it. Maybe on the dink, we'll see. It doesn't maybe, need to maybe be. Maybe somewhere That's else. That's going to be a route. Don't they, worry about that one. <laughs> <laughs> they, gave, they gave us the okay for it. So hopefully, hopefully it, they don't change it. their mind, but we should be streaming that on the dink as well at 1030 against, yeah. I cannot lose to Samin in anything. Agreed. Can't. Especially Can now that, not. Especially stole now that our Connor's balls. up there training oh, yeah. them. So they stole our trainer and our balls. And our balls. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Connor, you s slippery son of a... <laughs> Samin, you know what I want? 
You know what I want? I gave you 12 brand new little pieces of gold Vulcans. I get, sent you my address. You know the size. Have KD send me some stuff. Thank you. Who's on the aces? I know Sleeth. Yeah, we got on the aces. So it's uh, Emrich. Lena. Wait, 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 hold on. Oh. Let me try. Emrich De La Rosa. Yeah. Uh, and then you got Lane Sleeth. And who's the other girl? Pat Benjamite. Pat Benjamite. Pat, how do you say Pat Benjamite. Pat Benjamite. Pat Benjamite. Where is she from? No. Oh. Lithuanian. Oh, you're right. Australian. <laughs> I'm thinking of what's that food that they eat? That Vegemite. Yeah. <laughs> when I hear that name, I think of Vegemite. <laughs> ah, you make me so happy, Greg. I take shit away from these conversations where I'm just like, I, I can hold on to this for weeks and get a chuckle. That name doesn't make you think of Vegemite? <laughs> sure no, it, it, it sure does now. It does, yeah, it does now, forever. And for always. You're you've right. She's Eastern European. You've I, been watching too much Tropical. That's, that's something he would be saying. <laughs> And next we got Lena Vegemite. <laughs> That's fucking good. Call her Vegemite during the matches. Oh my god. That's not. I Vegemite. like Lena. That doesn't matter. This is I'm a bit scared. Of, I'm scared of her too, I think. All right. So yeah, so Brooklyn Aces. Uh and then yeah, after that final flyer. match Sunday, 1.30, SoCal Hard 8 set MLP Grandstand. So that one will get streamed, I think. Um so yeah, who who's in the Hard Aces, do you, oh, sorry, no. The we play against Hard Aces? Yeah. yeah, that's our last match on Sunday. Okay. Um, I don't remember the men. I know the women are Maddox. Yep. And How do you remember this stuff? Who was the other girl I saw it today? Oh, and Tereshenko. Yep. Wow. And the men are, can't tell you. Lang? Eric Lang. Oh, and Jesus. Who did a Max Rev yet? Oh, Papo Jesus. Purple uh, Jesus. I ask you and, and Tardio, so you know it's not a walkover. Plus, uh, Lang's playing with that new paddle, man. Like, if he's lighting it up, what do you do? He's the new Yola? Yeah. I mean, don't Is you remember he had the match against uh, Tyson and Deco where he just tried to body bag him every time? He oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Is that could. the team you're most nervous about? Purple Jesus? I'm just terrified of Purple Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> like, what a fucking name. I want to be that cool. I want to have a name like that. Like, I mean, I, I can only imagine what I'd be saying. Yeah. What, what's the one in the, uh, the movie where it's the Jesus? Um, oh, Big Lebowski. My, that's my favorite movie. It's a great fucking movie. Like, yeah. Nobody messes with the Jesus. <laughs> you know, that's like, who I think of when I think of Purple exactly. Jesus is that guy. He, he has lines for days. <sighs> that's so Jesus, funny. Jesus, you said it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody fucks with the Jesus. Nobody fucks with the Jesus. <laughs> that's Over amazing. The line. <laughs> But there's some, you could have some pretty good shit talking against someone called Jesus, can't you? Oh, yeah. You're like, yeah, you're going to need a miracle to, hit, to win this match, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Might need to walk on water. Yeah, That's more yeah, likely. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Um, so, wait. <laughs> Connor Condus for balls. Oh, right. So, yeah. What is the deal with this? Connor, Connor Cond, you out of balls? I mean, I called Graham. <laughs> I, knew I, was, I knew it wasn't the right thing. But basically, he calls me. Connor Garrison's our trainer. Yeah. Our trainer he, and pickleball the trainer of the stars. Supposedly our friend and supporter. However, he is now, I think, the official trainer of the Brooklyn Aces, yep. which credit to him. Good for him. Uh, I believe there's a Travis clause. Like he can still train me, thank goodness. Me too, uh, luckily. And uh, aspiring. <laughs> you were the threat we, in this situation. You know, I actually said that to Dion there as a joke. I was like, Make sure Graham's in there because we need these aspiring <laughs> pros of our area. And Graham has TOC wins, right? Yeah, that's but right. Yeah, he calls me. He's like, hey, do you have any Vulcan balls? Yes, I do. How many do you need? 12. So I bring him 12 oh. brand new beauties. Never been touched. Get there in the morning because I'm working out at 9 a.m. before his flight. What do you need these for? Oh, uh, Samin needs them for the aces. Excuse me? <laughs> yeah, Samin needs them. Like, shh, you did not say that. Well, I already told him I had the balls. That's on you. That's not on me. Yeah. <laughs> so I call Graham. Graham, should I give them? Absolutely not. We play them. So then I texted Samin. and I said, look, it's amazing you guys can't afford balls and you're <laughs> getting them out of the guy who's got the two bedroom rental here in St. Petersburg at the penthouse in New York City. You guys don't have balls? And hopefully we have a fair exchange coming. I ended up sending the balls. I was a nice person. And I'm not I sure. Done it. I know. It's probably the wrong play. Tell them to go to Dick's Sporting Goods or something. They don't have Vulcans there. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever you can pick up Vulcans. Like I said, Amazon they're little, they're little overnight. Pieces of gold. <laughs> That's so funny. Damn. Yeah, we see you, Connor. We see you. All right. So let's get to what people are really looking for. We want to hear the picks. So, Graham, what's your picks for Challenger? Can you remind me? <laughs> <laughs> so, you, no, you're no, no. Hard about no, it. No, obviously us, yeah. right? The bouncers. Yeah. 
Um, and I think I have a team that I like want to kind of, a team that'll be fun to watch to see how they do. I yep. think they could be great is the Miami Pickleball Club. Yep. Which, uh, do you, Travis, you well, have the names on that one? Roscoe Bellamy. Wow. Eric Onsen. Wow. How does he do this? <laughs> I did the draft. I was in there for hours and I could not tell you these names. <laughs> The Absolutely girls, amazing. I don't remember the women. If you tell me one, I probably can get the other. Milan, Rain? Can't get the other. <laughs> uh, Rihanna just, Valdez. Oh, okay. I mean, that's, that's a solid squad on the she, women's where, side. Who, is, is she new? Like, I didn't recognize that name too much. Like, what is she She played to? USC. She's good. Yeah. Uh, she's steady. I think that the men are going to determine whether they're good or not. Roscoe, you know, has a huge upside. I haven't seen Eric Onsen's play much, but I've heard he's really tall, really athletic. So yeah. you got probably got two guys that are six five plus. Yes, and hitting the shit out of the ball and getting better every day. And getting better every day. Yeah, that's why I say that's like a team to kind of watch. Yeah, it's a fun one. Yeah, that that's might, might sneak up on you. They could. Yeah. All right, Travis. So there's nothing to lose. I think it's kind of the mentality of that team. It's uh, like we're not expected to win, so we probably are going to. Are those your same picks, Travis? Bounces, Miami, um, Florida, and then. Yeah, I'm, I have us and the bouncers as the two best teams. Yeah. The only other one that you had maybe on here was the Pandas. Who was that? Who's the Pandas? That one I the, don't know. Uh, Frisco Pandas. Yeah, yeah, but Frisco who's the Pandas. players? You got to remind uh, me. Sorry. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, Frisco. How do you not know uh, any of this, though? That's the amazing one. Like, you went through this. You don't remember anything? It's just too many teams. <laughs> it's a lot of names. I mean, I remembered, I remembered Hard Eights, and I just remembered the... The Miami Pickleball Club. I could have named you those, but I can't tell you Frisco Pandas. I'm going to take over the draft from now on. <laughs> Why? We did good. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, I could have used you a couple times in there, honestly. I was on the court. The Pandas, we've got Radzki Kowska. Radzikowska. That's a great pick. Johnson yeah. Cola. She went right away. She was number, was really she number one. She was one overall. Yeah. Jack Monroe. No. No, he's, playing, he's Chicago. No. Oh, uh, uh, sorry. He's, yeah. yeah he's playing with Sincola. No. Oh, did they trade? No. Who's no? Jack well, then who's Stefan? Who's Stefan Auvern? Oh, Stefan Auvern yeah. and Johnson Cola. Yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, that's a good team because they practice together all the time. Yeah, and, and then Ali awesome Al Phillips. Ali Phillips and Radzikowska. Yeah, it could be a good spot. I mean, Radzikowska is really good. So, well, she went one overall. Yeah, she's really good. That's what I'm saying. She's really good, and she can kind of probably carry that team a little bit. And the men are the men are a solid squad. Like again, all good players. These are going to be small margins. Okay. So yeah, I, I, I put them. You agree with possible. me of, of top four, so four or five. Yeah, four or top five. half. Top four or five for sure. Yeah. Okay. Right. That was my other kind of pick. And then what about the premier level? What's your pick? Premier is tight. Premier is tough. I was looking at those teams. I'm like, those teams. all these teams are good. The only one that wasn't is um, the Utah. I think it's the Utah Black, Black Diamonds. Diamonds. Oof, yeah. that team is. I don't want to say anything disparaging, but that's a rough team. <laughs> I think they're building for a future year. <laughs> they're, they're, they're looking to rebuild. They're going to rebuild. You don't rebuild. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> well, I mean, you can trade. <laughs> no, I'm saying. <laughs> it looks like you got Seattle as a top one. Yeah, you can't rebet against Ben, and yeah. his women are like kind of those clutch women that yeah. aren't going to make a lot of mistakes for him, which he, he loves. Right. With uh, Jesse and Coop. And then you got the squeeze. And he's got his brother for men's. So yeah. They're not going to lose a ton of those. <laughs> so that team, you can't bet against them, right? Yeah. Then you got the squeeze. It's like a second pick there. Yeah, they're good. It's uh, what Tyson, Federico, Vivian, Vivian David. David. I don't Paris know what the fourth one is, but and Paris Todd. Okay. Yeah, that's a that's, that's a, a solid that's a squad, squad, right? Squad. Yeah. Yeah. I like both those two teams. Who else do I have in there? Uh, you had the uh, Dallas, um, who is J JW Georgia, Tyra Black, and Org 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 Giga. Yeah, that's gonna be you good like team. that team. I do. Yeah, good team too. Yeah. yeah. They'll have good chemistry. Yeah. 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 Sweet. Well, we'll find out soon enough. You I excited? had a premier team to watch too that yeah, I think is a fun one to watch. Yeah. Does that uh, mean Travis Ignatovich, agrees with this? Uh, you had the shock. Okay. Yeah, that's a really fun team. Tardio, Patrick Quinn, uh, Anna Bright, and Fahey. Yeah. Right? That's a, that's well, the a, two young guys are going to be so fun to watch. Right. And Those Fahey are, being like, kind of an unknown, right. hopefully, you know, another one that Bright discovers and brings up you know, great tennis player. I think that's like, for me, that's a team I'm going to like find them on their court yeah, to watch sure. them play. I mean, I would, I would pay good money to watch right. Tardio and Patrick and play together. Like, right. I think that's going to be fucking that's awesome. That's what I'm saying. That's the team I'd like to watch yeah. Yeah. stream. So, uh, are you going to bring your big bowl? Oh no, that ball's more for signatures. I can get one there. I think now. You can, yes. 
Because the PPA okay. starts like that Sunday or Monday. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's like almost the same time. Pickleball Central. But no, I want that. the signatures for when the players come here yeah. okay. for the pod to Got sign it. it. Like we should have gotten Rachel's signature while she was here because yeah, she's yeah. got on the pod. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Or Humberg. Those are the people I want to get. Well, you could get bring it to Dallas and get them to sign it. And, uh, and right. That's, I mean. that's true. Yeah. All right. Maybe I'll buy another one there and get some signatures there for the people that have been on our pod so yeah, far. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Because we're doing Diascu right. next week, right? And I'll get his signature. It's perfect. Just to keep remember, shipping fees on those are really high. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'll carry this one. Don't worry. <laughs> I already uh, paid for my baggage. My baggage costs more than my flight to Atlanta. And if anyone is there and they want to say hi, are you going to be signing any balls this this time? I will always sign stuff. Yeah. In fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna plead to Leaf to make me a playing card. I've decided. <laughs> oh yeah, you got I played control. for TOC. Yeah. I have a win. I think I deserve a playing card. A PPA tour card? <laughs> PPA tour card. It'll be the one that all the kids open and they're like, oh, uh, I got Graham. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. the leave training, the leave training card. cards. No, it'll that be the, be it'll be the cool. collector item. Could you imagine like, the facial expression in contact? They only make, he's got, they only make <laughs> the 10. The best facial expressions. <laughs> yeah, it's and like a shiny. They're real, it's a shiny yeah. and they're really high demand. It's one of those thick ones yeah. that you find at the bottom of the pile. <laughs> I would probably buy a leaf pack every day in the hopes to try to get that to try to get George. Leaf, are you Co? hearing this? Yeah. <laughs> wow. All right. We'll put your paddle picture on there. The picture of me on the paddle that you have. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh man. So like hotcakes. Did you see the clip that I put out of we I was handing out cards? Rob Dobbs handing out yeah, leaf trading yeah, cards of Travis. There. Oh, to the kids. What did you think of that? <laughs> it's good. I like that. No Travis Ramirez? Nope. No. Nope. Nope. Nor should you. But they loved getting the card. Even though they didn't know who the player was, they were really they excited. They don't have to. I think that like there's something about, you know, it's like this is a, a pro I don't know, but like that would be good. I should know them. And I wonder if they go and like look them up after that. Like, who is this Travis Redmire? Yeah. And if they're little pickleball the junkies. The cards are cool for the kids. Cool. They love them. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a great giveaway. You should get a bunch of those for your clinics. I would love to, but I mean, oh, you mean just the packs? Or just your card. I, I can't get them. I've inquired, like, hey, can I get some on my own? And oh, really? They won't even give them to Dobbs me. bought like 20 of yours. He's got the signature version, the non signature version. Oh, boy. Yeah, a ton of them. Wow. Yeah. I have to reach fan. out, get a couple. I want at least one that I can like put in a little thing. That's yeah. cool. Who has a fucking card? I have a card. Yeah. yeah it's, cool. it's very cool. Old grungy motherfucker. <laughs> Awesome. All right. Well, that's what we got. So uh, looking forward to next week. Good luck, guys. Have you noticed, by the way, that since we said back of the rack, that I walk up and people are saying back of the rack? Yeah. Apologies, Luke. Just, it, it's, a, that? it's a great it's name. Catchy. It's a great name. Okay. Rachel, Rachel approved of it. I talked to her about it last week. And I was like, what do you think of this name? And she's like, I like that. Back yeah, of the rack. Yeah. Great fucking name. Back and of I the said, fucking rack. I said Graham wanted to call it balls. And she was like, yeah, that's exactly. a choice. Oh my gosh, Rachel, you're a super nerd. <laughs> she knows it's not a great name. Okay, yeah, thank you for the good luck wishes, Luke. I'm happy you're going. It's going to be a great fucking trip. Yes, perfect. All right. Uh, tennis get, sucks. Yeah, tennis still sucks, but also let's go to the back of the rack. Back of the rack. Bye, guys. Bye.